In this video, we're going to go through some actual applications of our trigonometric functions. We'll solve for unknown distances and use both angle of elevation and angle of depression. Say, for instance, I needed to know the distance between point A and point B, but there was unfortunately a forest in the way and I couldn't get an accurate measurement. But I could get an accurate distance from point A to point C, and that's about 1,002 feet. I can also measure the angle from point C from point A to point B, and I've measured that to be 58 degrees. Well, what trig function uses an angle and its adjacent side and the opposite side? Well, we're going to be using tangent. Tangent of an angle is equal to the opposite side divided by the adjacent side. So we know that we have the tangent of 58 degrees, and that's equal to, well, we're not sure what our opposite side is, but our adjacent side is 1002. And I don't like using question marks. Let's use x. Let's have that be our unknown. If I cross multiply, I find that value of x is equal to 1002 times tangent of 58 degrees. Well, we're going to need to use our calculator for that since 58 degrees is not one of our special angles. So let's pull up our calculator. I'm going to first of all make sure my calculator is in degree mode because I'm dealing with degrees. So I'm put it in degree mode, I'll quit out of there, and now I'll simply type in 1002 times tangent of 58. And we find the answer to be 1603 0.5352 approximately. Or if we round to the nearest foot, we have 1,604 feet. Let's look at another example. Say I had a tower and I wanted to connect a wire from point A to the top of the tower at point B and I wanted to know how much wire I would need. I know that the point A is 15 feet away from the base of the tower and the angle of elevation that is the angle from the ground up to the point B is 79 degrees. So what trig function will I use if I have an angle and an adjacent side and the hypotenuse? Well that will be my cosine because cosine of an angle theta is equal to the adjacent side over the hypotenuse. And in this case, I have the cosine of 79 degrees is equal to my adjacent side 15 divided by x, the hypotenuse. If I cross multiply, I get x times cosine of 79 degrees is equal to 15, or x is equal to 15 divided by cosine of 79 degrees. And I'm assuming at this point that you're comfortable enough with your calculator that you don't need to have me demonstrate it anymore. And if we type that into our calculator, assuming we're in the correct mode, we need to be in degree mode, we'll get an answer of 78.61 feet. And here's a final example. This one deals with a boat and a lighthouse. I want to know how far away the boat is from the lighthouse if the lighthouse is 120 foot tall and the angle of depression to the boat is 15 degrees. Well, I know my unknown is the distance from the boat to the base of the lighthouse that I'm going to call x. And I can see that the height of the lighthouse is 120 degrees. I can complete a triangle. I can complete a right triangle. But I'm not quite sure where that angle of depression of 15 degrees goes. Well, an angle of depression is equal to the angle formed by the horizon down to a point. In this case, if we were on top of the lighthouse, we'd be looking straight ahead, and we would go down 15 degrees to line up and to see the boat. Well, the trouble is that 15 degrees isn't in our right triangle, except we've now learned about complementary angles. And if I know that the angle of depression is 15 degrees, then that angle inside my triangle has to be 90 degrees minus 15 degrees, or 75 degrees. Once I have that, I realize I have an angle of 75 degrees, and I have an opposite that I want to know, and I have an adjacent. And like our first example, we're going to be using a tangent. So tangent of 75 degrees not our angle depression of 15 degrees, but it's complement, 
tangent of 75 degrees is equal to that opposite side x divided by 120. Again, plugging that into our calculator, we get that the distance of the boat from the bottom of the lighthouse being 448 feet. And now we've shown some actual real-life applications of trigonometric functions, where we've had unknown distances and where we're dealing with angles of elevation and angles of depression.